like The Legend of Zelda, like games that are kind of like The Legend of Zelda, like games with magic in it, check out my review of Mages of Mysteria coming up next on Mumbles. Welcome back! Well, 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 welcome back! Welcome back! Now, welcome, welcome back! I'm not gonna do that ever again. But welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbo, 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 Mumbo! Today, I am here to bring you guys yet another game review. And today's is exciting. Today's game review is on a game that is just recently launching now on Switch. It has been available on other systems, but it has just now come to Switch. And it's for that reason I'm reviewing it. Today I'm reviewing a game called Mages of Mysteria. Mages of Mysteria is a game by Borlas Games, and it is their only game to this date. They have done nothing else. They have nothing else to compare it to. This is their one solo title. Now this game is available for $19.99 on the following system. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Windows, and now Nintendo Switch. So what is this game about? In my own words, I'm going to do my best to describe this game to you. You want a game about magic? You got it. In Mages of Mysteria, you play as Zia, a young girl born a mage who is learning magic for the very first time. The only problem is that magic has been outlawed. Join her as you help her craft powerful spells, solve puzzles, and adventure her way onwards to save her homeland. So that's basically what this game is about. It's a Legend of Zelda type game, as you can see in the gameplay footage playing right now. So now let's talk about the graphics, the sound check, and the controls. First off, the graphics in this game, this game has some very charming graphics. That was one of the first thing that drew my eye to this game. Whenever I see a game that has relatively cute graphics or something that's a little bit different, my eyes are immediately drawn to it and I think to myself, I'd love to do a review on this. This game definitely caught my attention. It has some very cute graphics. Soundtrack wise, this game kind of threw me through a loop because there's points in it where it's just kind of background music doesn't do anything. And then there's points in it where the background music is so good that I really can't say that this game has gaming elevator music. What I can say is that this game has a beautiful soundtrack in it that does a good job of mixing things up all the time for the player. Control wise, you can see the list of controls right now on the screen for the Nintendo Switch. I can say without a doubt, the controls work very well, but I will also mention that at times, Zia, the main character, has kind of slippery feet. What I mean by that is sometimes I found myself not being able to stop right on a dime like I would like to. Beyond that, controls work great. So now let's talk about the gameplay in this game. They did a really good job of creating a Legend of Zelda style type game, but they made it their own. Now the way that they did this was they put a heavy magical spin on this thing. Unlike a lot of games where you're just given spells, you know, here's a spell, use this spell, here's a spell, use that spell. In this game, you craft your spells the way that you want them to be. For example, if you want a fireball that shoots across in a straight line, you can put in a modification to your spell that makes it shoot across like a fireball. If you want a spell that makes five or six fireballs in front of you and then they shoot, you can do that. There's all different kinds of different ways you can craft and create your spells and it kind of makes it unique of each game into your own. That's really the main gameplay mechanic you're going to want to understand. Beyond that, like I said, there's puzzles and all different kinds of things a la Leg Legend of Zelda style. But for the most part, the magical system is what stands this game out from all other games in the market. Now let's talk about the cons for this game. My first con for this game is that the difficulty modes, easy feels a little easy to me, medium feels really super hard to me, and hard feels pretty near impossible. So that is my first con. The difficulty could use a little tweaking, but nothing that makes this game unplayable. My second con for this game is that this game gets kind of tedious at times with its backtracking mechanics. For example, you beat your way through the first forest in the game. You have to go back to the main town that you were already at. You do this, you gotta go back to the main town and you have to walk. Yes, there is a bit of a fast travel system, but that fast travel system really needed expanded. The third and final con for this game is the combat system at times is a little lackluster. I would like to have seen just a little bit more thought put into the combat system because at times monsters can be almost unbeatable in the medium difficulties, but for the most part, it's not horrible or anything that can take away from this game. So really, all that's left now to ask is what is Mages of Mysteria going to get on our Mumbles review? I love these Legend of Zelda inspired type games and this one, they did a really good job of taking the core mechanics of what makes a good Zelda game 
and sticking it into their own game, but actually creating something brand new with a great story and that is just a lot of fun to play. Yes, the backtracking can get tedious at times, but when you're not backtracking, the rest of the game is fabulous. And it is for that reason, I'm going to give Mages of Mysteria today under Mumble's review a seven out of 10. So yeah, guys, give this game a chance. If you love Legend of Zelda type games, you're gonna love this game, I guarantee it. Anyways, guys, this has been my review of Mages of Mysteria. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Please smack that subscribe button, smack that like button, and smack all those buttons. Now, see you guys all in the next video. Bye bye, everyone. Take care.